Well, today the Cleveland Browns announced that they're ending their deal with First Energy. This has been called First Energy Stadium, of course, for the past 10 years. Now it's returning to its former name, Cleveland Brown Stadium. Mark Namick, managing editor of Signal Cleveland, is here to talk more about this. So I, I think first and foremost, when we look at this, talk to us about the significance of this in the beginning and where we are now. I've been around long enough that I was here when that deal was cut. Right. And this is what made it significant. It was the first time in franchise history that that stadium carried a corporate name. It had always been, as we know, Muni Stadium or the Brown Stadium. That was a big move, uh, and, and the former owner, which was Al Lerner, had pledged to never sell the rights to that, mm -hmm. but that lease was very generous to the owners that allowed the Haslams to make that decision to sell it. Okay, so I think that's what a lot of people want to know. Can you put a number on what the, this deal was worth? Yeah, important to point out that the Haslams never disclosed the number, didn't want to disclose it. Council couldn't get that from them. Uh, First Energy wouldn't talk about it. But reporting at the time at the Plain Dealer when I was there, a uh, utilities reporter, not a sports reporter, a utilities reporter, John Funk, uh, had sources that put that figure at $6 million a year. That is a $102 million deal. That was on par with what was being given out at the time for those deals. Okay. So extremely lucrative. Okay, so obviously there was some pressure from the city with all of the problems with First Energy for the city to disassociate uh, from them. What beyond that might be playing into this decision? Well, I think it's a very important step if the Haslams are going to ask council and the city for money because last May council members were calling for that name to be dropped. Clearly this wasn't, uh, you know, let's go our separate ways and everything was great. There was probably some push and, and, and pull on that deal, but that's really important on the first step to go forward to talk about renovating. And you know that's why you're leading yeah. me right into my next question because so many people talk about this. This is a big deal to a lot of people because a renovation would affect taxpayers. Yeah, we got, the Haslam's have not signaled that they would pay in full for a new stadium or a renovated stadium. And typically, let's be honest, we know that uh, teams look to the city because they argue they benefit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I think this gets them headed in the right direction. On the lakefront, they publicly said that. One real important point that has not been made on this deal to end the, the agreement with First Energy, mm -hmm. and that is there's nothing that says the Browns can't sell the naming rights to whatever renovated stadium comes. It's too lucrative. They have not committed and said, we're never going to sell it. We're going to keep it this way. So I think you could see. There's an expectation it, that. It, it could happen. I'm saying that's on the table. They haven't taken it off. And that's an important point to keep in mind. Yeah, that's interesting. Mark Namick, we always learn from you. Thank you for being here. Thank you here. for having me. Appreciate it.